up in obviously blue as Blue Squadron. Seeing some very serious looking faces here in the Empire uh, Empire hangar here. I mean, working for the Imperial right? Remnant is a very solemn affair. I mean, there's not a lot to be happy about. You're clinging to the breaking remnants of your government. But enough about lore. We've got squadrons to cast here. Five seconds that we're going to be in the game. Alright, here we go. Loading in on Esla's. And into game we go, coming out of the MC-75, flying for Cavern Angels Blue, we have Mr. Big Brain the Second, Super Kev, Tasty Bombs, Rain, and Zug Zug. Meanwhile, on the Empire, we have Jesus, Fame Plane, Fenkar, Detenshi, and Spoon the Hut. And am I seeing things right here? Am I seeing a triple bomber out of... Uh, Baywatch. Yes, we this are. We're also seeing an early dumb fire here from Empire. Yep, and Spoon the Hut has already found Zug Zug and is chasing him tight. The dunk is out. The dunk has hit, but he can't follow it up. But it doesn't matter. The flip's already gone. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of morale very quickly. That was a very uh, quick car is real low. Looking to buy time for Jesus to get to him. Meanwhile, Jesus also under attack. He's ice. He's, he might go down here. Rain's on him. Second ion missile out, but chaffs it real low. He's Jesus is flying for his life. There, there are no marks, but Fankar manages to get a dumb fire resupply. And Rain is still chasing Jesus. He's got him low. He's got him dead. And that was a very fast flip. Barely anything got done on those uh, Nebulons, and in come Cavern Angels Blue. And there is no Ion Torp, so they're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way to get these shields down. Super Kev is uh, flying evasively, coming out, and it looks like the call is Delta. Ion Missiles out, the shields are almost down, and we can get those beautiful Proton Loops going. Super Cav lining up, coming around, boosting around, he's got the distance, he's got, he's lining up, he's got the lock, boosts in, and here comes the Proton Torpedo, turrets being stripped at a very quick rate by Tasty Bonds and Zug Zug, but Tasty Bonds is under pressure from Spoon the Hut in that Defender, and oh, this is very interesting, Marks go out, and we've got... D already down at half morale and that's all we're gonna get Thir Delta is down to 30 that is a long out of phase if they're gonna go for it it looks like Super Kev just wanted to get a little bit of extra credit and then he's going to look for Jesus meanwhile those bombers are coming in and Charlie is stripped of shields and it looks like they're making the call that uh, Baywatch is making the call to a Try to strip it of its life. Fame plane coming around, got those beautiful bomber drifts. Back and forth, up and down the length of the hull. Jesus looks to they're shaking it, but best car wash goes down, and Fame plane uh, taking a little bit of chip damage. He's got that lined up. Spoon the hut coming around, and he's offensively PKing. He's got Tasty Bomb's ice, and he's working on him. With, those, with that triple bomber, though, you got the damage to spare to do that. Detenshi also... Oh, go ahead. Their uh, PK might here. They've already got two picks so far. Yeah, that was... This is very, very quick flips here. 
Uh, but the damage is coming in fast and furious. Alright. And that is it. Uh, the call has been made to fall back, and already we've got Count Angels Blue in on the cruisers. And they are working to strip the shields on Charlie. Meanwhile, it looks like they're trying to, uh, devote Zug Zug and, um, yeah, just Zug Zug to getting, uh, Charlie down into that easy out of fame range. And there it is. But meanwhile, Super Cap has been iced. And is out of Proton Torps. He's running for his life. He's got no shields in 60 hull. But he does get that clutch resupply from Big Brain. And that was definitely a Big Brain play from Big Brain. I'm sorry for the puns, but when they're that easy. Looks like we did see one out of phase at the end of the map here. Yeah, that, that's very interesting. Not trying to hold for the double. Um, Delta is down to easy, easy out of phase range. Charlie is down. It's a little long, but they should be able to do it pretty easily. Especially with that torp out from Rain. Uh, Corbel, why, why don't you keep an eye on that out of phase? Let me know when it happens. Uh, because uh, we got those Burt Cannons spun up and blasting away at Charlie. The shields are down. There's that first out of phase. Alright, and... Oh, that's a lot of explosions on Charlie. It cannot be fun to be on the bridge of that shit. You know, Jesus Holy. is iced and is being attacked. And Trying there's to get the around second out of phase. Alright. Jesus has got a long way to run if he wants to escape to a capital ship, but it looks like he's decided... Yep, he's gone all the way back to the ISD, so... Uh, there's a long time where these... Tie Bombers are going to be a lot squishier than they normally would be. Fame Plane is low and out of ordnance. But Jesus manages to get him that resupply. He's on his way back in. Fencar, meanwhile, uh, working on the cruiser. But it is already time to go on that defense. They've got to defend the ISD. Fencar with an unfortunate bonk at just the wrong moment. He's got to get this Nebulon down. No, I don't know if they got that Nebulon. No, with that bonk and the chip damage coming in, they're going to have to devote even more time to that out of phase. And I don't know if they have the time to do it. Spoon the hut coming out of the hangar. And the Baywatch bombers are already on farm. Oh, you know, well, super though, kept caught in a tractor. Question is... Okay, yeah, that is the ISD's tractor. I got excited for a second there. Looks like they're making the call to kill the shield gens. Oh, and Tasty Bum dunked. Randalorian's really farming well. But then again, so yeah. is CA Blue. Yeah, this is this is very interesting. And wow, these have been incredibly short phases. We're already onto the MC-75 attack. Or, yeah, MC-75 attack. Rain is in deep, and he's going evasive trying to get out of there. I don't know if he's going to... But he's got Jesus in his sights. Meanwhile, Jesus coming in and he's got those marks out already. And the right shield has been disabled and the left shield on the Star Destroyer comes back up. And the left shield on the MC goes down in the same moment. Oh, Jesus gets dunked. This is very bad. And Jesus goes down. They don't have those ions for the easy kill on power. But... Who needs, eye, who needs power dead when you've got three bombers rotating around with those permanently overcharged rotaries? The MC-75 so the MC is, is already low. Oh my lord, this is quick. Spoon the Hut seems to be moving up. I think he's starting a tether. Oh, and Detenji goes down. The MC-75 is at 20. Fencar is trying to out of phase it, but he's under a lot of pressure. Oh, and yeah, down that's he goes. It. They're, they're gonna have to defend hard. Jesus actually has switched out and is in a piercing torp concussion tie fighter. Oh, is there? Looks a like they're gonna go for the out of phase. Randalorian is down a player as uh, Sea of Blue just 
pours the damage in three very quick uh, weak spots. And Rain is back on defense, pressuring Jesus. This we were talking about the MC melting, but the Star Destroyer is doing it as well. Turrets are being stripped, and Super Kev is doing his utmost to absolutely destroy every single inch of the Star Destroyer. But the MC-75 is at 8, 7, 6, and falling in Disco Dino, trying to get that out of phase. Randalorians may sneak Star the Star Destroyer out. is at 7. This is a base race. The shields come up on the Star Destroyer. 3, 2, 1. Which is it? Oh, and it's the and it is the, oh, the, the, the That huge. was so close. Huge the win. 75 down to five. Wow. I think the drop definitely cost them not having an extra player, but it was kind of a tough spot there. A lot of uh, they came back and tie fighters. They didn't seem to have a tether at the end. That was for, for Baywatch on the MC, which can make it a little bit tough. Uh, I mean, everyone in TIE Fighter sending Torps, I would have thought. Maybe the there was... It looked like Jesus came back in a TIE Fighter, and he was the tether, but then he went down. So they kind of broke in uh, in in phases on the MC attack, and Rain was defending, kind of shooting down Torps as well, and just gave them that extra defense. That was very, very impressive by CA Blue, pulling that win out. They lost the opening, but they had a great first defense that limited the attack that Baywatch had. And they were able to come back in that game. I mean, I they got to the ISD first, had to put up a defense for the shields, but were able to pull it out. Very impressive win from CA Blue. They got to be hyped after that one. And Rain with five kills in the Elite Division? That's a lot. And the kills he got were incredibly crucial. And that was that was a very fun game to watch. <laughs> Corbal, what were your thoughts? I was kind of having to talk real fast trying to keep up with things. So, well, those teams are so efficient; it's almost hard to keep up with them. CA Blue just played it right by the books. Even though they didn't win the opening flip, they took very very few deaths throughout the, the entirety of the match. They were able to get very timely picks out under Randalorians. They were able to really punish a couple key little things, and they were able to get their job done. And that key milestones of, you know, the first out of phase, the first attack on the capital ship, all of those they hit. I uh, yeah, I am blown away. That was a hype, hype game from CA Blue. That might be one of the most clutch NR games I've ever I've ever seen them play. They were just phenomenal there coming back being on the back foot and being able to do that very impressive game trying to get the it was and those y wings were right there at the that second mc isd attack right there getting those weak spots and just melt that star destroyer yeah and zug zug in that y wing the whole game had eighty six thousand caps wow nice game I mean, and that, that he, he didn't have Proton Torps. He did that, he did that the old-fashioned way with Goliaths, Multilocks, and Overcharged Standards. So, yeah, that was, that was a treat well. to watch. Yeah, I'm with trying to New get... Republic, mm -hmm. The capital ship damage spread was pretty even, with Zug Zug even getting 84. Tasty Bomb, Super Kev, Rain, all floating in the 45 to 55k range. I'm trying to just bring it up right yeah. now. Here, uh, so I see... Oh, wait. Shoot, where'd it go? Ah, I just lost it. Yeah, sorry, you said... Did you have it up, Sarah? It's Zug Zug with 84. Big Brain and Support with the second highest score. Tasty Bombs with 45k. Super Kev with 54k. And Rain with 40k in that one. Very impressive numbers. I think Zug Zug, especially in the Y-Wing, getting the 85k. Usually you see X-Wings with Torps doing those numbers. I wonder, what was... Was Zug Zug carrying Torps? Is that just Y Wing damage? I wonder. I didn't see him. I didn't see him releasing any Torps. I, I mean, it's hard to believe on SLS you would bring Torps. That would be crazy, actually, for a while to do that on SLS. But there were no Torps. It was just a standard farm load. Wow. Making every but those multi count. Three weak spots right at the second capture phase just scoot in and just rake that surface. It adds up real quick. Yeah. Uh, new game is back up here, so I'm just joining that one. The key figure that stands out for me is the death count. 
Randalorian's taking quite a few deaths in that match. Yeah, I mean, you know, they always say the best crowd control is death. So <laughs> the less you die, the less you're looking at that great screen, the more you're shooting at the big ship or the small ships. You know, as as my teammate Booster says, um, if you're gonna die, don't. That's how you that's how you win. <laughs> that's it. Phoenix One classic line: If you have died, then you have failed to not die. That's <laughs> same logic, really. <laughs> yep. All right. Looks like we're la waiting on a player still. Um... And it looks like. Uh, Cabin Angels Blue has taken Empire for the second game here. So, question is, are we going to see an NR split here? Or is Cabin Angels Blue going to be able to finish off that sweep and really skyrocket themselves up the standings into second? It's incredible. Uh, that, that win was just so huge for CA Blue right now. They've got a chance if they can win this Empire game, which they... They play a really strong Empire game on SLS specifically. I think they can they can definitely really put themselves in position to win this. But of course, Baywatch, <laughs> no slouches in the on the NR side at all. Uh, they're some of the best farmers there. They can win this NR opening and propel themselves to a lead. But we just saw the game management from rain in that one losing the opening and able to manufacture their way to a win there so they can never write off ca blue they're so good with the morale management yeah the chat and... reacting heavily there to that uh to that win talking about oh, who, won, yeah, who Rebel... won, lost their points yeah. <laughs> speaking of which i gotta yeah, get Rebel, the next Rebel one else. not pleased with that loss <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you what um Shika, definitely a big winner there, and uh, looks like uh, Centric made the right call. Oh. Um, but let's look at this prediction. We got another one up, folks. So get those uh, big, big point pulls in there. So, okay, we got everyone in here, all the casters. I should let them know we're good to go. Predictions up. Yep. No roster changes so far. Everyone coming back with their previous lineups. Um, Actually, I don't think so. I don't see fan playing. I think they swapped fan playing for uh, Disco. Good call. Yeah, that's the definite change here. Disco uh, will probably play a Plasburst X-Wing, so he'll carry the Ion Missile Ion Torp. It's usually what he does in expect him to do huge damage i would predict 100k damage from him in that in that x-wing this game plus <laughs> yeah he's certainly capable of it oh there's the game loading i'm gonna pass it over to you guys all right and in the empire lobby we have ca blue once again in their coordinated uniforms and uh not quite as coordinated for the new republic but Fitz is a former rebellion ragtag group of uh, heroes and hopefuls suddenly thrust into a government and given better equipment and not much else. But yeah, CA Blue, you know, just that coordination makes me happy. It's beautiful. Getting That's some emotes. Reacting there. And we've got a fairly even prediction here. Um, Sinric going all in on CA Blue again with that 14k. Hobbs with the high roller. 10k on Baywatch. Come on, folks. It's still got another three minutes. But I don't know if Time Bomb's going to leave it up that full duration. No, I will. I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up the full five minutes that it was or whatever. I think it should be fine. I think it's someone, I guess, if they wait till the opening, they get a little edge. But I mean, the way these games have gone. Openings mean very yeah. little here lately. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a very good thing to see for the squadron scene because it used to be, if you're on Empire and win the open, you've won the game and you might as well just quit and remake. <laughs> so these mods doing their work, and the teams putting the work in to make those openings matter a little less as well. 
can see a blue getting some style points in for once again having the pregame emote system figured out. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Spaz. But enough of looking at chat. We got squadrons to look at here. And the fleets are coming out of hyperspace, deploying their fighters, and coming out of the MC-75 is the Randalorian's Baywatch. With... Hold on, let me find the right button here. There we go. Uh, Disco Dino in that double ion X as we expected, and we're pretty sure that's a plasma. Spoon the Hut, Detenshi, Jesus, and Fencar. Meanwhile, on the Empire side, we have Tasty Bombs, Zug Zug, Big Brain the Second, Rain, and Deadway. Oh, Rain taking a bonk there. Looks like he collided with uh, Fencar. He's low, but so is Fencar, and the ion missiles are out. It hits, and Fencar is in deep trouble here. Fencar goes down. Big, big pick, but the Empire does go on the attack here, so CA Blue gets that opener. Deadweight coming in, he's got those double ions, he's going to be the key here. If he can get this torp to land, it's going to accelerate their offense so much. He's got the torp and the missile away, they hit, and oh, look at those shields fall. And here come the burst lasers. Meanwhile, Rain setting up. He's got those standards overcharged. Big Brain the second gets the marks out. But he has marked himself, so he's got to be careful here. And the bomber's doing as bombers do. Oh. Is, is Zug Zug using standards? I think Zug Zug is using standards. Once again, <laughs> another very quick flip. Yeah, there's, there's, I don't have enough time to actually look through all the players before the flip is out. Before the flip is out, and Disco Dino coming in, he's got those torps away, and I don't know if the torp hit. Yeah, I don't think the torp hit. But so he's gonna have to use these plasmas to do it, and he's got that beautiful orbit coming in. Oh Lord, the morale is coming fast. Oh, and Hazy's in a spot of trouble. Oh yeah, this is he's he, he's got to be careful, or he's he's gonna find himself. And in 10 morale over in an already fast phase. And as evasive as it gets for the enemy flexes to shoot at you when you're doing that orbit for Disco Diner, it also makes it hard for the support to get those resupplies to you. So, shields on Delta have fallen and they're already getting some really good damage in, but this phase is already half over. And it looks like we've got. Uh, Baywatch already burning the raider. We're at quarter morale. When that raider falls, it's going to flip it. And they've, they've chosen to take the moment to get the shields down on Charlie. Get some little bit of extra credit damage here. Disco Dino picks off Big Brain the second. When you get iced again with a plasma sex wing on your tail, you are not long for this world. And down goes and, the raider for the flip. Yeah, so... But there is no support, so there's going to be no marks... This damage is going to be heavily compromised until Big Brain the second can get in. And with how fast these phases are going, I don't know how much time they're going to have with those marks up. Looks See like the call has been made. Yeah, Part go ahead. Pouring in the damage now and trying to get, it looks like Delta down to out of phase, which it now is. Yeah, that'll give CA Blue a bit of options in the match. Yep, and I I think Zug Zug is using the standards. That's a that's a very interesting choice. Can confirm he is using standards. Yep, and Tasty Bombs get that resupply, get that ordnance loaded back up, and here come the missiles. And oh, there go the turrets. Meanwhile, Disco Dino looks to be uh, finishing the out of phase, or actually he's already in. Dino is already land already and he's already on his orbit that is incredibly heads up play from the flexes of baywatch they were in bo basically as the phase flip they're already in there they're already shooting deadweight wasting and, no time after that flip to get the other phase yeah oh man these phases are so quick it's hard to keep up tasty bombs is low though he's got to be careful he's he's being attacked what oh is, is that an ai i think that's shooting on him 
Yeah, both the flexes are shooting, but oh, Chase Bombs gets the respawn. He's okay, but the cruiser is not. Disco Dino already up to thirty-eight thousand damage, almost thirty-nine, and we're about to uh, finish off the first cruiser here. And he's already on Big Brain the second. Big Brain's got to be real careful here. Oh, he's he's dancing for his life, but I don't know if he's gonna get out. It's interesting. At this point in the last match, we had a we had more PKs than we're seeing in this match. Yeah, I mean, it's it it just goes to show stylistic differences, not just between teams, but between factions for the same team. Spoon the Hut finishing off that out of phase. Meanwhile, Charlie is not long for this world. Big Brain the second is already in on the MC and he's already got the marks out. His job is done for this phase. Anything else he can get is gravy. And he's putting the ion lasers into the hull. Power is down. Deadway. There goes with the that second shield again. Blue. Oh, this is this is a very quick offense. Already three subsystems either disabled or killed. Targeting is not long for this world. Big Brain the second is uh, going evasive, hiding back in the station, trying to get back to the ISD safely. Uh, and it looks he like he's good. going to get there. Positioning themselves for a potential out of phase here with the MC-75 now below 20 and all subsystems disabled or destroyed. Meanwhile, uh, Baywatch has got their flexes already in. Spoon the Hut has fin is finishing off that raider. Looks like he's made the call to ignore it and go after Casey Bombs instead. And there it is. Yeah, that was a very clean game from both teams, but just the damage out of CA Blue just absolutely incredible. CA Blue just, I mean announcing wow. hey they are a team to be messed with in sel elite they are the top taking on a perennial playoff team that has always given cab trouble and they take them two games to none that is a a devastating devastating win for ca blue this season that goes a long way for them here and also makes it just a little bit tougher for baywatch too this season in the middle of the pack now very very crazy outcome from that one to cca blue play so well and you know we were questioning whether the loss of capital ship damage was worth it for sacrificing those rotaries for the standards zuck zuck still put up 80k yeah 79 almost 80k and dead weight with 84k with those permanently overcharged burst lasers Oh, I mean, you don't know who you're talking to right now. Uh, if you're thinking, if you're thinking, I'm going to take an issue with standard lasers on the Time Bomber. I have a lot of thoughts. A lot of uh, I've made some YouTube videos about that in the past. But uh, Zug Zug, I, I mean, I knew right away. He's been me and him have talked about it in the past, and you know, it is the thing is, it's really easy to power manage on controller that way. Much easier to to do it on controller without multi drift. So I, I think that's where the benefit is. And if you do understand how to do it, you can definitely get these very comparable damage.